Ready. Hello, my name is André. I'm a scientist here at Zimmer and Peacock uh, in our facilities in Horton. At this moment, I'm going to demonstrate how we test our glucose sensors. As you can see here, there's a formulation dispensed on the platinum working electrode, the dark electrode, whereas our counter and reference electrodes are made of silver silver chloride. So what we're going to do is to connect this sensor to a potential stat box with a connector. Once this is connected, we are going to pipette 50 microliters of PBS solution onto the electrodes to create our electrochemical cell. So So just make sure you cover well the electrodes. Once this is done, we're going back to our software. So the device is connected. We are using a technique which is chronoamperometry. We are using a current range. This is important from 100 nanoamps to 1 milliamp with a potential applied of 650 millivolts, an interval of 0.1 seconds, and we are going to run it for 600 seconds. This curve you see to the right of those settings is a typical 5 millimolar step response to glucose of one of our sensors. So I'm going to start running this measurement since it's in a, an amperometry measurement, uh, parametric measurement, you'll see a drop in the current to close to zero to the equilibration stage. So I'm just trying to zoom around to make the viewer have a better perspective and uh, once this is done that baseline is acquired that's stable the signal i'm gonna i'm going to add uh, one molar uh, glucose concentration so i'm gonna i'm going to add just about here i'm not looking to to achieve uh, a determined concentration. I just want to show basically a response to glucose. So I'm just gonna drop around 10 microliters or so. So if if one drops here, this you can see a big response. So this is way over, probably over 20 millimolar step. But you can see a big response to glucose and then acquiring a new baseline. So this is how we test our glucose sensors. You can do beaker test or drop test. In this case, I showed you a drop test. I hope this help you, can help you with your testing. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.